Good morning, guys. I'm at this palace in the middle of nowhere, unknown place. I'm trying to do my confession session. So I don't feel like I've spoken about the Streamliner enough. I mean, what is up guys? I know I've done this video on the Moser, uh, the Streamliner, my first Streamliner from Moser and I'm absolutely loving it and enjoying it. But I didn't feel like, you know, I've done it justice speaking about it enough. I mean, doing a week with this watch is completely different than, you know, a month into it. because then you start seeing other things, right? Things that you would appreciate, nothing wrong, this is not a blast video. For example, if you look at the dial, I thought in the beginning at a first glance when I've done the video with Bertrand that this is just a, you know, a lacquered blue. But then when I've seen it on Watch Sand's wrist, this is when I, was, I start paying attention to, there is actually different hues to the blue. This is what uh, Moser calls aqua blue. And it's also a fume dot, right? So that stands for the fact that it's a smoke dot, right? Um, so they don't, they don't say it's different hues. They say it's a blue fume dot. To me, that was very interesting. And then the enameling, right? Because it's actually textured. So they've somehow managed in a very sleek way to do a very unique pattern it'll be interesting one day to actually speak to moser about is every dial almost unique or are they all the same is it a print down of one hammer or is this done manual um, i mean if you know i'm super interested i couldn't find any information about this the case is a little bit polarizing right so at times you would think it's too wide but at time you would think you know what it's just the right case. It's a design language that is different than other cases. Uh, and I think that's what I'm getting used to. But overall, I love this watch. This is a very nice watch. And in a time where, I mean, I don't want to keep referencing that the watch market is going down and this is not the purpose of this video, but this is a time where you can really ask yourself the question, uh, are watches for you? It would almost be impulsive to pull something like that of retail had it been available in the aftermarket i think it would have been a little bit less than retail that's my assumption that's looking at the 40k size and the 42s and whatever they released in the past even the streamliner with the green dial right i forget the reference that could be fetched significantly below retail so if the thinking was you know i want to get it at a good price this is the time where you can go pull the trigger on something like that i unfortunately couldn't find this used there was one available on chrono and Again, I don't know if it's real or not, but the minute I laid hand on this watch was, again, Watch Sanj. Uh, he's the person who introduced me to this to this watch, although I've done a, a video on it when it was first released with Bertan at Dubai Watch Week. But it hit me <laughs> the minute I saw it on Watch Sanj's wrist. I said, this is, this is a classic, everyday, beautiful watch. Uh, very unique, very different. No one is going to pay attention to what this watch is or even guess what it is if they're not hardcore into watches or no Moser or own Mosers for that sake. So for me, it's not something that stands in your face. It only means something to me. I wanted it new, even if it was available on the secondhand market, but it wasn't. This is all the boxes. Mm -hmm.